The next thing I know, I'm on the floor. I'm not even joking. I am on the floor. And I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, wait, first of all, did I just get hit by a car? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Can I? I was like, can I? Can I? Can I? I was in an accident. <laughs> They were scammers. They tried to scam me on top of my own accident again. They tried to scam me. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Is Easy here? How are you feeling today? How are you doing? In today's video, I'm gonna be doing my hair. I'm gonna be doing feeding cornrows and also wait for it wait for it wait i'm gonna be doing a story time yes so if you're interested please keep on watching and also if you are new to my channel welcome if this is your first time seeing my video oh you're welcome to my channel don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when i post a new video and most importantly make sure to smash the like button okay so let's get right into the video I'm just gonna divide my hair into how many sections I want it to be. An eternity later. Alright, so I have gotten uh, the middle pattern done. Um, to be honest, I think I did uh, quite a good job. See, when it comes to my pattern of hair, I only really care about the front. Once the front is looking okay to me, then that's it. So the middle pattern is done. And I'm just going to try and get four sections here and four sections here. And I'll be right back. Ah, so I am done patterning the hair. I ended up doing 10 instead of 8. I just knew that was gonna happen. I don't want anything bulky, just want it small. I believe that the smaller the braids are, the longer it's gonna last. So yeah, so that's, oh wow. I'm just noticing that I only have one earring on. That just shows that the struggle was real. I'm just gonna take it away. Now let's begin. So first of all, the story I'm about to tell you is about how I was involved in a car accident. Yeah, I was involved in an accident. It happened in the summer of 2018. I was going on a jog because usually I like to jog. Not usually, but before. I haven't jogged in a while, but I like to jog during summertime. That's the only time I'm able to jog because I can't be jogging in the cold i don't know how some people come out and jog in the cold but I can be so i usually jog around a park we had beside my house so i just jog around it just go round around in circles but this faithful day i decided to try my spirits i decided to now go outside of the park and like turn so instead of going in the park i wanted to go around the park so i had to cross a road it wasn't a major road, it was like all those corner roads that you usually have. So I had to cross one of those. As well as, did I mention that this hair might not turn out how we expecting it to turn out? I turn out good, it might turn out bad, but we just have to see. So obviously now, I'm jogging. I don't know about you, but whenever I jog, I would like to listen to music on the highest volume so music was blasting in my ear i didn't mind i didn't send anybody i wasn't hearing anything only the music so uh, i tried to cross the road i don't even know what happened because i can literally remember looking you know how they say look left look right and look left again <laughs> i literally did that i always do that but i don't know what happened the next thing I know, I'm on the floor. I'm not even joking. I am on the floor. And I'm like, 
Wait, what? I'm on the floor and I look up and there's a car there. I'm like, wait, first of all, did I just get hit by a car? <laughs> so obviously, the car hits me and I fell to the floor. It was a lady and a guy. I think it was a couple or I don't know. They were together, Sha. And I think they had a child in the car in the back seat. So yeah. Obviously, the lady ran out first of all. She was like, just stay there. Stay on the floor. Stay on the floor. I'm like, stay where? <laughs> <laughs> stay away nearly i was on the floor i jumped up i was like nah i have to first check if i can walk let me first check if i can feel my leg so i stood up immediately and she was like are you all right are you all right then when i established that yes my legs are still intact my hands are still intact everything was still intact then i started crying that they're crying of course this is what i was there crying honestly i didn't know why i was crying because i wasn't in any physical pain i couldn't feel any pain i was only bleeding on my palm so obviously i scraped my hand on the ground the guy in the car came out also they were like oh, what happened that am i right am i right so obviously now this has attracted a lot of attention like i said there was a pack beside me I don't like that kind of attention. Obviously, kids in the park ran out and all gathered around what was happening. So, obviously, you know what was happening. And I was literally just standing there. So, the lady took me. I was like, oh, I should come and sit down on the curb. I went to have a sit down. I was sitting there and I was crying. I was literally crying. So, she was talking to I wasn't even listening to her because that was the story. I brought out my phone and I called my brother. <laughs> I called my brother. I was like... <laughs> Hello? <laughs> hello? Hello? Kenna? Kenna is my brother. Kenna Chiku. I was like, Kenna? 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 I was in an accident. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was like, I was in an accident. He was confused. Uh, maybe he was sleeping. I don't know. Poor boy. He was probably sleeping and he woke up to my call telling him, I was in an accident. Obviously, he was like, where are you? Where are you? I could hear the panic in his voice. So I told him where I was and everything. So he was like, okay, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. They called an ambulance and we're waiting for the ambulance now. The next thing, I just saw my brother. He was, he was literally running. <laughs> I was like, oh, bless him. So he actually cares. He said, this is when you know that people actually care for you. And he was literally running full speed across the field. Do you know what? My brain was telling me to laugh. But my face was crying. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. It was just a very, it was just a very, very funny and unfortunate situation. So he ran and he got here. It was obvious. He was asking me, "Am I okay?" He was asking me what happened and stuff. And I told him what happened. A few minutes later, I think a cop car. We're just doing the regular patrol, and they saw what happened and they came and obviously they parked their car to come and see what's up. I explained what happened. Obviously, the cops. What am I calling them? Called the police people. The policemen <laughs> it was two policemen and so obviously they took down my number and they were there when the ambulance finally came the ambulance came like five minutes later so they took down my number they took down my brother's number they asked some other questions i can't remember and that was it so the ambulance guy came more questions at this point i was tired i was like it's not even that deep that all I have is a scratch on my hand that I just want to go home that everybody was staring at me he kept on asking me oh can I feel this one am I feeling pain anywhere am I feeling any pain in my head luckily the way I fell I fell with my hand so I used my hand to support myself thank god I didn't fall on my head if not if not actually only my arm that was hurting at this point I still couldn't believe that Isabel actually got hit by a car I was still in disbelief, in shock. <laughs> the ambulance did took down some information, they were writing it down. So obviously he cleaned the wound, he dressed it, he spoke to the couple, I don't know what he spoke to them about, and that was it. He left. So obviously I'm walking back to my house now and everybody's literally looking at me like I have a big post on my forehead saying, oh look at Isabel. So that is how the accident happened. 
to be honest guys i was very very lucky not many people get hit by a car and are actually still around to tell the story i was lucky enough to get off with only a scratch on my palm so like the next day also a policeman was patrolling the streets doing that period he called to make sure that i was all right and everything i felt really good that he called to find out if i was all right so that was the end of it i didn't hear from the policeman or the ambulance guy again at all do you know who i not heard from insurance people yeah i put insurance in quotes because they were scammers they tried to scam me on top of my own accident again they tried to scam me so like a few a few months later i got a call and when i picked up the call obviously there was a lady that was saying oh, i heard you've been involved in a car accident that wasn't your fault is that true then i was like yeah and she was like okay please hold while i transfer it to someone so, 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 so. Well, i caught the call because i was like i wasn't trying to follow up with the accident it was just something that happened and i've forgotten about it It was like two months later and i was like i'm not trying to go any further with this accident stuff i got the call like three times that month like towards november november time i now got a call again i was thinking you know what let me actually hear what these people have to say so she asked me the same question i answered her here i was i was involved and please hold it now transferred to another guy so obviously this guy i could tell from his accent that he wasn't british he had like an indian accent and i was like okay this is getting too far now i think i need to end this call so i ended the call again december they called again the same indian guy I don't know if he's Indian, but what I think he is. So he was like, what happened? He said, asking me when this accident happened. I told him when it happened and stuff. Then he now told me that he works with an insurance company. I'm eligible for some kind of money that since the accident wasn't my fault that and stuff like that. So he tried to get some information off me. He said, asking me my name, uh, my date of birth, where I lived all this information name date of birth information that i give to clothing websites and stuff on the regular so he wasn't yet crossing any boundaries and he asked me for my ni number and i was like sorry why are you asking me for my ni number um that one is crossing too far and i asked him again i was like what company do you say you work with then he said what was it again i think it was sun coast or sunny coast insurance company something like that then he asked me for my ni number i was like mm, i'm not gonna give you that that i need to first do my research so i ended the call then he called again a few days later in their mind they already felt like oh we've caught this one we've hit jackpots this one she believes that we're actually insurance company let's start following her up so they called the next day again since i didn't want to give him my inner number he asked me for another number there was a number that they gave me like a record number the ambulance guy gave me i've forgotten what the number is called but there was a number they gave me and they were asking me for the number i was like obviously i don't remember the number because like i said i already forgotten about the accident but i was like oh i have to call them to find out the number so he now gave me another number that i should call this number and this number would transfer me to the ambulance people so i called this number it was a very weird number like something like one zero 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 one something like that so i called this number obviously it wasn't going through because the number didn't exist an hour later the guy called again and i told him that i called the number and it wasn't going through i then told him that see that i don't trust this company that will need time I want to do my research that what was his name I wrote it down your company's name is also I wrote it down it's like okay I need to do my research before I give you any other information that I don't trust you and this guy my guy literally stared shouting at me over the phone I was like ah. I was like hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up I was like why are you shouting that kind of stuff he was like that 
that he's trying to help me, that he just needs some information and stuff, that what is there not to trust, that I've given you this number and I've told you to call, I've given you the name of my company and I've told you to... I was like, I can't just be giving you my NI number to any random person that I don't know you, I've never met you before. And bear in mind, we're having this conversation, the background is so noisy. I was like, bruv, like, why is this guy? Like, why is it so noisy? Obviously, if you were in an office, in a company, it won't be noisy like that. And I was literally hearing people shouting in the background and stuff. I was like, okay. I was like, okay, he should call back tomorrow when I've done my research and stuff. So I went, I did my research. I typed in the company name and this company wasn't even in the UK. <laughs> they left America. Then the Naki come and find out the accident that happened to Isabel Okeke in the UK. Tell me how. Tell me how that that happened. I don't know. I was like, okay, so the company is actually legit. So I now types in again. I now put in um, Sun Coast Insurance Company scam. That that was now when I hit the jackpot. I now saw a lot of people that were putting reviews of the exact same number that was calling me. Uh, sorry guys, my camera died. As you can see, I've done this part. It's just this part left to do. We're almost done. So, so I was saying, <laughs> so the number that called, the, f the lady that was speaking at first was a recorded message. And I was like, wow, I didn't even know that. So exactly, they were like, oh, that when they now transfer you to another guy, the people were saying that the guy was Indian and the guy doesn't even know how to speak English. When they want to give the guy the information he's asking him for, he starts getting aggressive. I was like, wait, that, that was the exact same thing that happened to me. So after this, after I've done everything, he now called the next day like he said he would. And I picked up the phone and I told him, see, I just googled your company. And first of all, your company is not in the UK. So where are you actually calling from? He was like, didn't you see the location? I was like, yeah, I saw the location, but your company is not a UK company. So what are you saying? I'm like, from my research, I can see that you are not a legit person and you're trying to scam me. So, I'm just going to hang up now and advise you not to call this number again. In my mind, I was feeling like a bad G. Like, I just give it to them hot hots. I was like, I advise you not to call me and I hung up. Hey! I was like, Isabel just did that. Isabel gave it to them straight up. So, apparently, he didn't hear me. The next day, he called again. I said, I blocked the number. And this was how he kept on calling me every day after that with different numbers after I blocked that first one Different number he kept on calling me. I was like this one is wasting his time But yeah guys, that was how I had an accident and to be honest I am very very lucky and I thank God that I didn't have any serious injuries I'm just gonna finish up the rest of my hair and I'll be back I am back and I am done and this is the final look This is the best one I've actually done and I'm proud of myself so as you can see I've done my edges also I'm just gonna take some hair mousse yeah and I also soaked the ends of the hair in hot water and I cut out the tip and that is me done that is also the end of this video Fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you.